Okay, guys, I have a story for you, and it's some insight into why I think one of the political races that just ended, Katie Porter's campaign for the United States Senate, ended the way it did, and the way it did was that she got third place in the jungle primary in California, which means that she does not get to advance now to the general election because she was not in the top two vote-getters. Instead, Adam Schiff and Republican Steve Garvey will be moving on. I'm a big fan of Katie Porter. I like her progressive policies. More than that, I like her personality. I like how she has spunk. I wanted to help her campaign in whatever capacity I could. So the first thing I did, this was like six months ago, is I went to their website. I signed up as a volunteer and I said, put me on her mailing list. I went to a DNC fundraiser where she was speaking. I went with a handwritten letter and my resume in hand and I met her afterwards as she was leaving. I said, I will help you win the United States Senate. Let me help you, please. What do you need from me? She said, okay, hand that to my aide and we'll be in touch. They never got back to me. And I, this isn't about my ego. If you don't want my help, I totally get it. I'm a lawyer. I'm a guy out here. I don't necessarily have deep political connections or a billion dollars. Um, but a few months went by and I got curious. I was thinking, you know, besides... Katie Porter just spamming my email and my text messages asking for money to push ads. Is there going to be any other sort of mechanism here? Are you going to ask me to go get voters organized? Can I like knock on doors for you? Are you going to pro provide me with like materials? Like what can I, you know, how can I help the campaign? Never got word of anything other than give us money, give us money. So I went over to Adam Schiff's campaign out of curiosity. I signed up on his website the same exact way. And immediately Adam Schiff's campaign put me in a Slack channel, uh, had volunteers reach out to me and say, hey, how can you help? We have texting banks. We have weekly meetings where volunteers all get on Zoom. We have relational organizing where every volunteer is going to input 10 of their contacts and phone them and make a plan to figure out uh, how they can convince these people to vote for Schiff and make sure that they actually vote. In other words, they were open to using resources that came through the door. Uh, they, they, they used them well. And not only that, you know, it was less about the ad spending and it was more that what I saw Schiff's campaign doing that Porter's wasn't was actually reaching out to people and creating a system for these people to go out and advocate for Schiff and talk about him. And I'm putting politics aside here. This isn't about which candidate you prefer philosophically or ideologically. I'm merely here to give you my observation somewhat from the inside, hardly, that I think that this campaign could have been run very differently and may have resulted in a different outcome if Porter's campaign had done more of that grassroots level person to person organizing instead of the hyper focus on cash to just then run ads and try to boost Katie Porter's brand in hopes that that would then convert to votes later. There are a lot of other factors at play, obviously. Katie Porter, I think, didn't have as much money. She never accepted money from PACs or lobbyists in the same way that Schiff has. Schiff obviously has the support of the Democratic establishment, and he's much more well-known across the state. So maybe this wouldn't have mattered. Um, but I found it kind of interesting as a case study in what could very well be an example of why politics is about people. And you can run all the ads you want, but the most important touch point, in my opinion, and this may be too idealistic, but it's what I believe is that person to person, that human to human contact uh, and empowering the people who are volunteering for your campaign to do that, I think is really important. And I think Schiff did a really good job with that. And by extension, I don't think Porter did as good of a job. And that's coming from somebody who wanted to do that type of work for Porter, but received no direction despite my many pleas uh, for, for that type of direction. Anyway, let me know what you think. And if you're a Californian, I'd love to hear your thoughts on what you think of Schiff as a, as a future senator, since it's more likely than not that he is going to be the winner in November. Take care.